It's the 19th day in the month of December 2022 and we're podcasting live from the nation's capital of Nigeria, West Africa to the rest of the world. And just in case you were wondering, this is the Men's Health Podcast, a health talk program that centers on the entirety of a man's health, wellness and fitness. And this is exclusive to Food and Health Communications, your number one go-to media source for credible and timely health information. Victor Waberry is my name. Welcome to today's podcast. In today's episode of the podcast, I will be sharing with you the top five benefits of swimming. Yeah, you heard me right. The top five benefits of swimming. Now, you may have heard that, you know, experts recommend adults, you know, get about 150 minutes of moderate activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week. Well, swimming is actually an excellent way to work out, you know, your entire body and cardiovascular system because an hour of swimming burns almost as many calories as running that, that's the truth without all the impact on your bones and joint because swimming as we understand is the fourth most popular activity in the united states and across so many countries but why exactly you know because there are a host of benefits you may gain from swimming laps regularly and and that's what i will be doing on this very episode of the you know the podcast is i will be sharing with you five top benefits of swimming i'll start off with the first one the first one is what it walks your whole body that's the first benefit it walks your whole body one of the biggest benefits of swimming is that it truly walks your entire body from head to toe so swimming is that activity that once you get engaged in there is no part of your body that is left out and that's one of you know one of the benefits it actually walks your entire body the second benefit is that it walks your insides too so it doesn't just walk the outer parts of your body it actually walks your inside too because while your muscles are getting a good workout your cardiovascular system is too right because swimming makes your heart and lungs strong and swimming is so good for you that researchers share it may even reduce your risk of death so you see it doesn't just work your external body it actually works on your inside as well pumping you know it ensures your heart is fresh and alive kicking you you know it lowers your blood pressure and it controls your blood sugar as well that's the second benefit the third benefit is that it is appropriate for people with injuries arthritis and other conditions so there are people who tell you that okay you know, I have certain ailments and so I cannot, you know, get myself involved in certain rigorous exercises, but then I still want something that will be productive. Swimming is that exercise for you because it is appropriate for you, even though you have injuries, whether you have arthritis and other conditions, swimming is actually appropriate. So that's, you know, the third benefit, regardless of your condition, swimming is a go-to source. The fourth benefit today, guys, is that it's a good option for people with asthma. Now, uh, people who have asthma would not even dare to try activities like running, activities like jogging, you know, strenuous activities that will make their hearts beat or activities that tend to, you know, bring about dust and, and all of that. So, you know, they, they try as much as possible to avoid it. So if you're in that category and you're looking for an activity that you want to get engaged in, consider swimming as it has no effect whatsoever on that asthmatic condition of yours. And finally, guys, today, my fifth top benefit for you of swimming is that it is beneficial for people with MS too. And when I talk about MS, I'm talking about people with multiple, you know, slurries, which you may also find swimming beneficial. Now, water makes the limbs buoyant, helping to support them during exercise. And also, you know, water provides a gentle resistance, as we see in one study that a 20-week swimming program resulted in significant reduction of people for people with MS. These people also showed improvements with symptoms like fatigue, depression, and disability i feel tempted to give you one final tip right on this episode and i'll just go ahead and do it the final tip for you guys today is that it improves your sleep 
it does improve your sleep so if you're having a hard time you know getting a good night rest if you're having a hard time sleeping well like a kid maybe you should try swimming right after swimming it, it, it just gets to relax your nerves and um and you know the insomnia and all that comes as a result of old age and all of that it just gets to you know curtail some of those things and makes us feel refreshed because i can tell you when the brain is refreshed when the nerves are calm you would actually have a good sleep so these are my tips for you today as a regard swimming five six benefits i've given to you on how and why you should consider swimming an activity to get engaged in and this is where i call you the wraps and i come your way in the next episode keep staying healthy victor waber is my name bye for now